This week we're talking about the omniscience of God, that he is all-knowing. It comes from two words, omni, all, and science, which is uh, uh, more than we know as uh, science today, but it's talking about the ability of God to know everything about all things every time. Now, this really gets bizarre when you think that he knows everything, not only in the past, which we could know that if we had enough wisdom and uh, insight to study history, uh, but what's happening present everywhere around, not just on earth, but everything that's created. But not only that, he also knows everything of the future. God's omni, uh, omniscience goes around beyond all that you and I could in our finite minds comprehend. Knowing that God is omniscient, meaning not only does he know this vast amount, but he also knows the inner workings of our heart. He knows our mind, he knows our troubles, he knows our sorrows. Knowing that God knows everything about the universe is comforting to me because it shows how big and grand and glorious he is. But knowing that he knows the small details of my life is so precious to me. It says, like we see in the nature here, he sees a sparrow fall to the ground and he knows about it, he knows everything. He knows your troubles, he knows your trials, and he has the power to change anything. And if you're going through something that's not changed right now, it is under the knowing hand of God and he knows the future that there's a time coming where he will make all things right. Maybe here on earth, maybe in the future in heaven, but God has a way of making all things well and he knows how to do it. Not only is his knowledge the knowledge of things, but is a knowledge of, of wisdom, of how to work things out. So he's a good God and he's taking care of you and he knows your heart.